guys, so today I have little baby Madison, and you haven't seen her in a while. So today she's going to be, um, she, we're just going to do a small feeding video, because I needed to get a video closely as soon as absolutely possible. And so today we are going to be giving her some apple juice and milk. I know it sounds like a bad combination, but, um, babies actually don't have any aftertaste and, like, they can't, like, taste anything very well, and baby apple juice actually doesn't taste like pretty much anything. I think it just has some, like, nutrients and whatever in it. So, it's, like, barely even anything. So, I am going to be making the apple juice homemade like I usually do, and then we're going to feed her, and then she's just gonna go ahead and go to nap time, and after nap time, she'll eat and... And then go to sleep for the night because it is almost like five or six o'clock. I'm not like looking at a clock right now, so. Mm. I think this is lemonade. So, yeah, we're just gonna do some lemonade for today. Lemonade is good. And so, now that the juice is made, we can go ahead and start to feed her. But we do need to put a bib on her so that. We don't miss up her pretty little outfit, and she's wearing the one she always usually wears. Not always, but most of the time. It's a super cute one. It's by Carter's, and she's wearing some Carter's socks. Um, cause I'm sure she, cause her little, I thought her little feet might get cold, so. Gotta keep her warm. Hi. <gasps> Honey. I love you. Okay, where does your ball go? Oh, here it is. I always feed her milk first, and I kind of just feed it in between each feedings, because the lemonade is supposed to rinse out her system. Because sometimes the milk is a little bit too thick for her. And so the a lemonade, or like a juice or water, will help to make sure that it doesn't like get stuck in her throat or anything like that. I'm just going to fast forward the feeding because I know you guys are going to probably do that anyway. Then we'll change her diaper and change her into night clothes so I don't have to do it later. Okay guys, so I fed her um, about half of the bottle and um, a little bit under one third of the lemonade. Because she's such a tiny baby. She's, not, she's no longer a preemie. I've had her long enough now that she's a newborn but she still wears preemie clothes. But she is a newborn now, and she can fit some newborn clothes if they're, like, really skinny and, um, kind of not as long. But she's just going to be wearing a sleeper tonight. I'm not sure which one. Um, I think it's going to be the, the pink and white one instead of the yellow one, which is the one she usually wears. Or the green and white one, which is the one she usually wears. And she needs a diaper change. So I have a fresh diaper here. Let's get this off of her. Ooh, yeah. It's very full. And it looks like we have a little bit of poop there, too. So, we didn't want a butt rash, huh? So, this needs to go up more. We don't want it to be on her little stone. Which actually fell out, but I still don't want, I just still don't want her to have any, it to hurt. I'm not sure if it's like sensitive after it comes out or anything, so we're just going to keep it um, off her belly button, but it did come off, so no more stump, my little girl, no more stump. Okay, and so now we're going to go ahead and um, put her little... Did that hit her? Tell me in the comments if that hit her head when it fell, because I do not know. Oh, no socks. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Here you go. We'll just put them over there with the rest of her clothes. Okay, so now we're going to separate those legs. Separate them legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
excuse me. Sorry if you hear any like background noise. So you just, I'm just gonna lay her on her back so I can get this over her butt okay and get the extra fabric on her feet, off of her feet. So we're going to go ahead and get this on her. Now we're going to pull that little thing through. Go ahead and get her all dressed up. Okay, now we're going to flip her over one more time so we can go in and close this little patch on her back. There we go. And I'm just going to give her one more sip of a bottle so she can go ahead and go to sleep. Come on, what's wrong? I think it's because her head is turned. Oh, what's wrong? Come here. Okay, well I guess she's not hungry. I definitely filled her up, which is good. But now I need to give her some water or lemonade to make sure that she doesn't, you know, that doesn't stick to her throat and stop her breathing, so. Well, she drank it, so. I guess maybe she's just not hungry anymore, like they said. But isn't she so cute? I'm gonna put her little pat on her so her little head doesn't get cold. I'm trying not to like squish her head too much. There she goes. And now we're gonna wrap her. Um, real fast. So keep your hat on, little girl. I'm just gonna let her sleep in um, one of the car seats so that um, she's not bothered by her big sisters because they're gonna be like playing and I'm gonna be cleaning up so I don't want her to wake up from her nap too early. So thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Um, peace out guys. I will see you next time. Bye.